Hi, so we are uh, at the 41st ASI meeting in Indoor at um, IIT Indoor and we are standing here at uh, the stall for the Daksha mission and uh, so let us hear from the volunteers uh, what uh, we want to explore in this. I am Gaurav Varadkar from IIT Mumbai. I am a fourth year PhD student working uh, in this, uh, on this mission and uh, that brings me to the mission. So Daksha is a proposed X-ray space telescope where we will be detecting a lot of transient objects. Uh, transient objects are these bright flashes that last very, very uh, for a very less duration and uh, these are all coming from uh, different types of sources like uh, merging neutron stars, uh, coll collapse of stars and, uh, and so on. This is Daksha, uh, where Daksha will be the world's most sensitive transient hunting space telescope. Uh, our primary target for Daksha is going to be electromagnetic counterparts to gravitational resources. Now, let me explain what that is. Uh, when you have two neutron stars going around each other, what they do is they emit gravitational waves. And along with that, when they come close, they merge and they explode. And you launch jets. And the first photons that come out of these jets are called gamma ray bursts. And we want to detect those photons. The first photons that come are in X-rays. And that's why we are wanting to build this X-ray space telescope, which will be the world's most sensitive telescope. So here, what we are showing in this poster is are all the science cases, are all the interesting science uh, sources that we will be seeing using Daksha. And uh, not just the gravitational wave counterparts, not just the gamma ray bursts, you, we will be looking at fast radio bursts. These are very small duration uh, radio transients. Then we will be doing indirect measurements of primordial black holes. Uh, we will not just be looking out in the universe, we will be also looking onto Earth. So we will be looking at uh, terrestrial gamma ray flashes, which are lightnings, uh, solar flares, pulsars, and lots of other binary systems. All of this is something that we will be doing while being the best in the world at it. Now, all of that is only possible uh, because of some calculations that we have done where we have shown that we are the best in the detection rate of GRBs, we are best in the sensitivities of EMGW counterparts and so on. And you can look at this small figure that we have made for you where uh, the smaller circles denote the kind of the volume that is probed by existing missions by NASA and ESA. And you can look at the yellow circle which is denoting the kind of volume that Daksha will be probing and we will be doing 13 times or 5 times better than the existing space missions by NASA and ESA. And you can imagine that such an ambitious mission and such a, um, a large mission won't be possible without the help of a big team, a, lots of institutes who are working with IIT Bombay. So we have institutes like PRL, TIFR, RRI, Hayuka, and along with that we have lots of expertise from ISRO who are helping us to build this mission. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about the science we can do with Daksha. Wonderful, so uh, science with Daksha. We have lots of interesting science cases with Daksha, so we will be not just looking at gamma ray bursts, so gamma ray bursts, what are gamma ray bursts? Uh, these are the brightest explosions in the universe. Uh, so when two neutron stars go around each other and they merge and then they explode, they send out these uh, gamma rays that we are able to detect using Daksha. Uh, brighter GRBs, we will be able to do lots of polarization uh, measurements using Daksha. Uh, magnetas are highly magnetic neutron stars that whose measurements, whose flares will be, we will be able to detect using Daksha. Uh, then we have fast radio bursts, we have detections of slow transients, solar flares, terrestrial gamma ray flashes, and not just that, we have indirect measurements of primordial black holes. All of that will be done just by Daksha, and it, will, it is coming to your nearest skies. Okay, got it. So tell us a little bit more about the technology that goes into the Daksha. Yes. So Daksha is, this is a 3D printed model of Daksha, uh, where we have 
different sets of detectors. These are X-ray detecting uh, instruments that we will be using on board Daksha. And uh, we have three sets of detectors. These are what we have named them as low energy, medium energy and high energy. Low energy detectors were used in Chandrayaan 2. We have used the same detectors and uh, next we have cadmium zinc telluride image, uh, detectors. These were used in AstroSat. Uh, and lastly we have the high energy detectors. These were also used in AstroSat. Uh, what we have done is we have taken 64 detectors that were used in AstroSat CZTI and we have multiplied that by 10 and we have around 680 detectors of CZT on board Daksha. All of that is being done in India. Uh, you can imagine that to get the data out of those 680 detectors, we'll need a big team that needs to read out all of that data. And we have uh, our collaborators at IIT Bombay, at PRL, at TIFR who are doing lots of great work. You can look at this figure where we have recently achieved a four detector readout where we have four detectors on the PCB where and we were able to get a lot of good data from it and uh, and that that is basically what Daksha is all about. Thanks a lot for those excellent words Daksha. Uh, now I'm really curious to see what Daksha actually looks like. So that's a great question. Uh, Daksha actually looks like this. And uh, but indeed, it will be 10 times larger than this. This is a 1 is to 10 scale down model of Daksha that we have recently 3D printed. And you can see the small dots on this, on these, uh, on this model. Uh, each of these small dots are the CZT detectors and other sets of detectors. And you can see here, this is the actual size of the detector. These are X-ray detectors that are actually used in medical imaging and we have taken around 20 of them to put it in this box. We are calling this as the medium energy detector box and you can see that these are uh, the 20 CZT detectors that we will be having and this all of that makes one such box but on the actual Daksha payload we will be having 17 such boxes. So you can imagine 17 into 20 we have lots of detectors on board. And so uh, what we have here is the actual Daksha rendering. And uh, so, so far you have looked at how Daksha looks uh, in a scaled down model, but you can go to our website to look at actual animations of Daksha. And this is one of the renderings that a team at IIT Bombay actually made where we, you can see how Daksha will look like in space. And not just that, on our website, we have a lot of other content for you where you can download all of these um, nice cutouts. You can cut through these uh, pages and you can build your own Daksha at your home. And you can even put some lights in this and you can you will have a cool Daksha lantern at your house. Uh, apart from that, we have a lot of other things at uh, our website. But more than that, keep an eye out for your nearby local colleges, uh, tech fest. You can come to IIT Bombay at any time uh, if you know so want to know more about Daksha and where we will be going to just follow us on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter and you will know where the team goes and where Daksha will be nearest to you. Thanks a lot Gaurav uh, for this wonderful explanation. So we at Lango India are definitely looking forward to this mission. So do keep an eye out on both the Lango India webpage and the Daksha website for more videos. Thank you.